In respect of these elections, I think that the constitution is slightly silent about certain issues. But what we must know is that, first, we are talking about creation of a region. Second, we are talking about demarcation of the boundaries of a region. So if you are going to demarcate the boundaries of a region, then it stands out that those people in the region in which you are going to demarcate should have a say. So the whole voter region must be called to vote. The, they set up a technical committee comprising of 20 personalities. And then we, we sat down, deliberated on the pros and the cons, and they came up with a 13-page technical report which recommended that Lolobi must remain within the Hawkeye municipality. And on the 2nd of uh, September, there was a, a, another public sitting where the whole town together with the chiefs and people unanimously declared that they will remain in Hohwe district. So anything short of that will mean that the authorities are undermining the authority of our paramountcy. Akpafu Tajina area and Lolobi Tajina area are not political threats. So as we helped Hohwe to gain its uh, district status in 1978, we should be left to remain under this municipality because that is our commercial hub. Uh, already, majority of our people plied their trade uh, within the whole municipality. If they should take us away, they will continue to ply there. They will be paying market tolls and taxes to a district of municipality from which they will never benefit. So it will be a big loss to our people. Number two is that we are already even speaking. If we go to T where majority are inclined to tree language, our people are going to find a communication problem. During the 1956, there was a plebiscite where uh, those on the western side of Togoland from Boku to Keta were asked to vote to determine whether to belong to Ghana or to have their independence and so on. Eventually, there was a lot of politics campaigning before that issue uh, of coming to Ghana was accepted. But it is still hanging there. So nobody should think that this agitation for OT region is in vain. We might be very careful because one day we may wake up and this same OT agitation will say that we are becoming independent, we are going to Togo or something. So to us, we love Ghana most. And therefore, we must be supported to remain where we are. Well, part of the Togo land was ceded and added to Ghana. Yes, but there was a referendum that after 50 years, you know, they could decide whether to remain in Ghana or take their independence. And these ag agitations have started over a couple of years now. And so for us, we feel that the addition of the Akpafu Lulubi traditional areas is being added to T region, show that whatever minerals that are within this catchment area will no longer belong to the Ghana or to the other part of the voter region, assuming the struggle to attain their independence. I want to let the whole world know that the government and the so-called SAR and OTI propagandists, they should leave our lands alone. We, the people of Lulubi and Akpafu, never petition. So I'm pleading with them they should leave us alone. This whole act is trying to find tribal sentiments and uh, ethnicity within the Hawkeye municipality because uh, we, the district consists of nine traditional council, and then you just come and cave for the ones, the non-ever speaking people, and then come to lump them and dump them where you wanted. The voter region consists of 25 administrative districts. So the division should be done proportionally. That is 12 is to 13, and not eight is to 17 as it stands now and the name voter should be maintained for posterity.